What's good, Craig Gang? We're out here. We're going to do a $25 Rite Aid challenge. Now, first things first, I got to give a little shout out to my boy, First State Fishing, because he is like, you know, he's like the OG when it comes to $25 store challenges. But right now, we're about to head out to Rite Aid. Personally, I've never bought any fish stuff at Rite Aid, so I don't know what they got. But we're going to go in there and we're going to see what they got. Uh, so, Adam, Adam, where's the fishing section at? Fishing section is... Where's the fishing section? Josh, we gotta find the fishing Where's stuff. Listen, what is that? We gotta get pole line, everything we're gonna fish with, we have to buy it right here for $25. For $25? Yeah. Do you have any fishing spots? We're doing a fishing challenge for you two. No? Do you have anything you think that could work for fishing? You guys, anything. <laughs> Did she just tell us that they didn't have a fishing section? You said you bought fishing stuff here as a kid. I guess they moved it out. Well, guys, I just I just now figured out that they do not have fishing supplies, so I'm now counting it down to ten dollars. Adam told me yesterday they had fishing stuff here. Right here. I never fishing heard you want that fishing. Stuff. Okay, so like here's the rough plan. Me and Josh versus Adam and Trey. Since it's been raining like the last week, we gotta get black. Cause black silhouettes in muddy water. Okay, so like they said $10 with anything. They never said it had to be edible. Let's go find some like fake hair. What? Do they sell wigs here? Bro, an extension cord. It looks like a worm. It looks like a snake. For real. Mm. We can cut those up. And like twitch them on top of the water just like a trick worm. So do you want to get white or pink? I say pink. I say pink. This guy's we're gonna rig this up. This is gonna that's four dollars. Oh dang, that's four dollars. We can't afford it. Gotta work on a budget, guys. Gotta work on a budget. To be honest, I don't really know what else to get. Like I think we can catch all the fish in the pond literally on a shoestring. That's my straight up prediction. Maybe, maybe. We'll be thinking about it. We'll be thinking about it. So like here's the thing. We've got five dollars left, and like we don't have anything else to spend it on. So we're probably just gonna get like a pop tart or something. Eat it. This is is about as close to an outdoor section as we're gonna get. Sponge spray. So like guys, we came to Kmart and we like straight up forgot. Kmart. <laughs> Kmart, where are we at? Oh, we came to Rite Aid and we straight up forgot about the number one thing we was actually thinking about getting. And that's just straight up gummy worms, baby. I don't even know where I am. That shows you how, how much I'm into it. It's been a long day at school, hasn't it? Oh, those are big ones too. And double colors. Those are like Senkos. I guess you guys can pretty much write it down as we won this one. Honestly, like for real, I think the shoestring is gonna be the best bait. So if you're a little bit iffy what just happened, okay. So yesterday, Adam told me that Rite Aid had a fishing section, which we found out they did not. So we just had to basically go off whatever we had. We couldn't do a $25 challenge because, you know, they didn't have a rod. So we just cut it down to 10. I think we only used like $7, but here's what we did get. Number one, my favorite, a shoestring. That's honestly what I'm tying on first. Then we got your good old gummy worms and then some black Twizzlers just in case the water's muddy. Now here's the fun part. I've got to try to rig up a shoestring now i got a really good idea i just don't know how good it's gonna work okay so like here's what i'm thinking with the shoestring obviously i don't want to bait that long i want it to be about six seven inches so we're going to cut it about right here now here's the cool thing okay i'm just going to hook it through here takes the string it just like it's a trick worm the only difference between this and a trick worm is this is flat I don't think it'll make a big difference. I don't think the fish is gonna care. I don't think I'd catch any more fish on trick worm than I would this. Like, this is gonna be pretty great. And then here's all I'm gonna do, like legit. I'm just gonna straight up, you know, Texas rig it. In through the head, bring it around, slide it up on the hook, and boom. Just like stinking that. There is a stinking Texas rig Dude, shoe string right that there. Actually looks that pretty is a good. Texas rig. Yeah, I just realized something. That's gonna be really hard to cast, but I think I can do it, you know. I mean <laughs> once it gets wet, it'll be easy. Oh yeah, once it gets wet, it'll be just perfect. So Yeah, like look at that. That's perfect. Now here's the comment challenge for you. I want you to go down in the comment section tell me if you think we're gonna catch fish at all how many you think we're gonna catch and how many on each thing now remember we got one shoestring wacky rigged gum worm and twizzlers so pause the video right now go down and comment what you think we're gonna catch them on or do you think we're gonna catch them at all but yeah go do that right now and uh well good to see you back guys it's good to see that you're back go ahead and become a great gangster and hit the subscribe button and the like button while you're at it. right now we're just waiting on them to get here and then we're pretty much gonna smack up on them okay guys here we go first challenge in the right aid challenge with my homemade little trick worm i feel like i can catch you know fish all day long as long as i can cast it pretty light bait so it may be a challenge to cast but besides that you know action looks great and everything you went oh my gosh it's sitting there shaking it's shimmy it shimmies just like a senko it's stinking shimmies this is unreal guys like i'm straight up gonna sell all my senkos and go buy a bunch of shoestrings like this thing is amazing three hours later i don't know why but like the fish just aren't biting maybe it's just a bad day maybe they just really don't like right aid. maybe it's the moon phases or maybe i'm just not holding my mouth right i've used a shoe string twizzler the gummy worms and i mean i got a bite on the gummy worm but a bite doesn't count we got to catch fish just mark my words guys i will complete this challenge whether it's today or tomorrow or the next day or the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day i will complete this challenge you just wait guys i didn't want to do this 
but I'm gonna have to. The next day. Okay guys, it is the next day, and it is also Sunday, which means it's time for the verse of the week. This week's verse is a pretty popular one. It's Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now listen guys, school's hard, work's hard, and I can tell you right now, fishing's hard sometimes. Like last night, like, oh my gosh. I had the hardest time in the world trying to catch a fish. But it doesn't matter how much I believe I can catch a fish. I may come in here and not think I can catch a fish at all. But I can tell you right now, like the verse says, all things is possible through Christ who strengthens me. God gives me the strength to come in here and try to catch fish after, you know, last night I had zero bite. And that's exactly what we're out here going to do. We're going to fish. We're going to complete the Kroger challenge. What was it? IGA. What? Oh my gosh. I've done forgot. I've slept since then. I don't remember. Oh, right aid, right aid, right aid. Okay. But I do know what I was fishing with. A shoestring. Now, I've actually modified the shoestring quite a bit. I've actually made it just a piece of fuzz on a hook to imitate no other than a piece of bread. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I have some hot spots where I can get on some Boone and Crockett bluegill. And we're about to see if they think this shoestring is a piece of bread. Bluegill are known to not be too smart, so um, let's complete this Friday challenge real quick. And by the way, it is pouring the rain, but I'm out here for you guys, the gray gang. Here we go. First cast with the shoestring. Casting it actually might be the hardest part to do today. Uh, it casts fairly decent enough. All right, I know I can catch a bluegill right here. Now let me just buckle down and do it. Oh no! Oh no! I just, I just caught a catfish on a shoestring. Oh my gosh! I just caught a catfish on a stick of shoestring, people. I just caught a catfish on a shoestring. Are you stinking serious? I don't know what to say. Like, do I say ding dong? The the King Kong is dong. I don't know what to say. I just, wow! I can honestly mark that off my bucket list now. I caught a catfish on a shoestring from Rite Aid. Not gonna lie guys, that's a first for me. Catfish on a dang shoestring. One thing is I ain't gonna complain about it. Wow, I was just asking for a bluegill and then I got a catfish. That's what you call a little Jesus bonus, baby. God wanted me to make this video today. That's what you call that. There he is, boys. Big old catfish on a stinking shoestring's the crazy part. On a shoestring. The funny thing is, I'm using like the smallest hook in my entire tackle box right there. That's one thing. Big hooks catch big fish. Small hooks catch all fish. That is a dandy too. That's probably no less than 10 pounds. 10, 12, maybe 14 because he's fat. Okay, he did not want to be held. I can tell you that for sure. He about destroyed my thumb right there. Now, there was one bad thing about catching that catfish. That catfish straight up tattered my shoestring. What that means is that we may only get one more fish off this shoestring. Well, because it's barely hanging on the hook as it is. And silly me, I only brought one piece of shoestring. Mainly because I didn't necessarily plan on catching like a 15-pound catfish. I was only planning on bluegill. But yeah, that catfish straight up destroyed that shoestring. Hopefully, we can get one more fish out of the shoestring, though. There he is. Oh, yeah. Shoestring came off. That's okay. He's not exactly the Boone and Crockett what he's looking for, but he's definitely not a bad bluegill by no means at all. Yeah, nice little bluegill. There we go. We completed the Rite Aid challenge. I told you guys I'd complete the challenge whether it was the next day or the next day or the next day. I was going to keep coming back to that same pond until I completed the Rite Aid challenge. Luckily, it only took me two days, which is way too many, guys. To be honest, let me tell you how much confidence I had in that shoestring. I told myself, okay, within the first five casts, I was going to catch a bass. And guys, I'm just dead serious about that. I had so much confidence in the shoestring, but I mean, it did catch a catfish. And you can't lie, you wasn't expecting that, okay? If you have any reason why a stinking catfish ate a shoestring, please go down and tell me in the comment section, because guys, that that's got me bum fuzzled, I tell ya. But yeah, guys, be sure to check in for the next whole week. The whole next week, I have labeled it the week of bangers. I've been grinding, I've been getting ideas. The next week is gonna be amazing, guys. If you wanna see some great content, come back here, same time. The next seven days is gonna be, well, lit. But yeah, guys, this video right here, it kicks off the week of bangers, so stay tuned. They're coming, boys. They're coming! <laughs>